What is going on, YouTube? Uh, Black Bigelow here uh, in my studio. I really need to uh, do something uh, with this situation on the times that I want to show you guys these videos. Anyways, so there's a video that I just seen last night, and I wanted to show you guys the video that I was watching because it's a very cringy shit video, but I give this guy credit for trying. Okay, so the guy I'm talking about is Trevor Jacobs. The guy's name is Trevor. I like that. I like that name. So check this out. This guy is an Olympic snowboarder or some shit like that, right? If you go on his YouTube channel, he's had his channel for many, many years, but he has about 130,000 subscribers. If you go down to his channel, he has like a bunch of cringy videos. I, I got stuck on a chairlift, uh, training for an MMA fight, blah, blah, blah. All of his videos are basically he's hoping to go viral. So he has his last upload, which he uploaded about a month ago. And in this video, he's flying a plane, a single engine Cessna. One of those scary ass planes that I don't want to get on because they're probably going to crash. And... This guy's flying, right? And apparently one of his good friends died. So he has a bag of his ashes and he's flying this plane. I'm not exactly sure where. It looks like Nevada somewhere. Who knows? So this guy's flying. He has a GoPro on the wing and he has a, a GoPro somewhere else on the plane. And he has a GoPro inside the plane and another GoPro that he's holding or on the seat, whatever. So in a video, he's like flying and all of a sudden he has uh, engine trouble, right? He's like, oh no, oh no, my engine, my engine. So he starts freaking out, quote unquote. And then all of a sudden, he just decides to strap on his parachute, which he conveniently had placed with him. And he jumps out while he's holding his GoPro on himself and you can see him just going down like you know falling away from the plane and then the gopro was still attached to the plane and as you can see the airplane crashes into the mountain and this guy you know he survives he pulls his parachute he lands and he hikes over to the plane because of course he has to get the gopro because that's the most important part of this video thank god he survived this plane crash so he goes to the plane, he gets the GoPro, and, uh, you know, then he's, like, you know, hiking back to civilization. You see him, like, drinking water or what have you. And ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, he was fortunate enough to survive the plane crash. Now, obviously, this video is fucking fake just because of the fact that all his cringe-inducing videos are all about just trying to go viral, just trying to get that video viral. This guy has this guy has had this channel for so many years and he's done so many of these videos and he just really hasn't hit like the algorithm. He hasn't really got a lot of subscribers. So this guy uploads this video. It does it really go viral? I don't know what considering I don't know what's considered going viral. I really don't know what it is, but he, so far he has 1.4 million subscribers, uh which for destroying an airplane, uh I don't think it's worth it. Now, what evidence do I have that this video is fake? I don't have a lot. I'm not going to lie. But just like how Squirmy and Grubs are fake, so is this video. First of all, he bought the plane about a month before he made, before the, he made the video of crashing it. Okay. Uh, it's an older plane, 1979, um, single engine. So maybe he didn't spend too much money on it. I want to say that he cleared the wreckage himself. He didn't contact the NTSB or anything like that. And from what I looked up online, because I've always been interested in small planes. Now, I'm too scared to fly in them, but I've always been interested in me flying. Like, I know, right? Stupid ass, like homeless guy in a van is going to buy a plane and, and go fly off uh, around but here's the scary thing about that. I could if I wanted to because I'm a YouTube baller, nigga. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I could fucking buy a plane. Anyways. Or I could buy one of those uh, gyro things, you know, with the parachute, the, the parachutes or whatever. Anyway, so check this shit out. 
So he posts a video online and he thinks he's, everything is fine and dandy. The only problem is that a bunch of pilots online start calling this guy out because when you are a pilot and you have a pilot's license like this guy has, when you're that high up, right? Because this guy was pretty high up. If you're all of a sudden your engine is conking out, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to try to restart the engine. And then you're going to radio whatever airport is closest to you. And if you can't get your engine restarted, you're going to have to make a crash landing. Now, I, with the smaller planes, it is possible when you're a good pilot that you can simply just glide the plane with no engine. It'll just glide, you know. You can glide it to a place where like, okay, I, I see a, uh, a flat piece of land. I'm just going to do a crash landing. Hope for the best. Hopefully you, 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 there's an airport close by. You radio the airport. Hey, I'm going to, you know, my, I lost my engine. I'm going to make a, a landing or whatever. And then you glide around, you glide around, you know, you're just gliding and then you'll make your landing. So this guy just made this fucking cringe video crashing a fucking plane in hopes of getting or going viral on YouTube. I will give this guy credit for this idea. It is clever. I give him credit for that. It is clever. It is unique. I don't think anybody has ever purposely crashed a plane on YouTube for fame to and clout. But uh, I don't think this guy really weighed the ramifications of committing this uh, crime. I'm assuming there's some kind of crime in terms of, uh, you know, intentionally crashing a plane. Because number one, um, I'm pretty sure when he planned this thing out that he flew with barely just enough gasoline to get him where he needed to go high enough where he crashed the plane. Because a lot of people were saying like, oh, you could have started a fire, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm sure he thought about that. So his tanks were not full. But going past that, this guy, am, I, I'm going to guess, is going to lose his pilot's license forever. I think the NTSB, they're going to be looking at this video. They're going to be re interviewing this guy. Now, if you lie to them, that's a crime and they can arrest you just for lying. So he's going to have to tell the truth. He's going to have to eventually admit what he did. And I believe he's going to lose his pilot's license I don't know if it's going to be forever, but he's going to lose his license for a good amount of years. Uh, personally, if it were me, I would, I think I would pull his license forever. Yeah, I would not let this guy fly ever again because here's the problem. This guy could have um, started a fire, you know, a brush fire or whatever. I mean, yeah, sure. He crashed the plane where there was no homes around or whatever, but you never know. I mean, animals live in the area. What are you going to kill a bunch of horses? Would it be a crack? What if the plane would have crashed into a pack of horses? I know who gives a shit, right? Well, I'm sure the horses would give a shit. So yeah, that guy's pilot's license, in my opinion, needs to go. Uh, he's just a cringy fucking douchebag. He turned off the comments on his video, so you can't go on there and leave any hate comments. Everybody's calling him out online. This video's kind of old already, so I'm, uh, I'm jumping on the uh, bandwagon, I guess. But, you know, none of you guys ever send me any, like, cool YouTube channels to call out or videos to call out or what have you. But, um, I don't know. Go I look up on YouTube. Go look up uh, Trevor Jacobs. Go check out his original video. Uh, this guy is a fucking douchebag, for real. But... I will give him a A minus for creativity. I'm not gonna lie, that was a good fake video. Uh, that was a good fake video and kudos to him. Uh, even though at the end of the day, this maybe you made some uh, good money with the uh, video or, or you got your name in the uh, spotlight, but bro, you only have 130 fucking thousand subscribers. I mean, only. I mean, that's still a pretty good amount, but for the amount of years and amount of the videos that you are trying to do get attention, I mean, you're a big fucking YouTube failure. So anyways, guys, uh, I gotta go. I gotta get to the gym, and uh, I'm gonna start looking for planes, because I, I can buy one. I'm a, I'm a fucking boss. Catch up with you later. Peace out.